strangely, when we hear the word hypnosis, not so much hypnotherapy but hypnosis, a lot of people are skeptical, a little scared, sometimes alarmed. In fact, in my own uh, personal journey, when I became a hypnotherapist by choice and I took it up as a career, the biggest moments of my life were when my closest people and friends would actually refuse to look me in the eye because they were so worried that I would, into bracket, hypnotize them into parting with their things or secrets and so on and so forth. Hypnosis remains a word that's probably a huge misnomer simply because it has two very paradoxical sides to it. On the one hand, we have the hypnosis that we see on stage and we hear of with people getting into trouble with it as in person comes in front of your eyes touches you at a certain spot in your body or flashes something in front of your eyes and then you have no clue what happens to you and before you know it you are poorer with a few of your assets gone down the drain which is why naturally over time and space hypnotherapy or hypnosis has evoked a lot of fear however that is one side of the coin there is an opposite side or a different side of the coin in which hypnosis can merely become a tool for you as a human to access the hitherto unknown and untapped powers of your subconscious mind. Hypnotherapy that is practiced and taught at our institution follows a completely different neuropathway model in which we don't override human will, we can't do that. We can't use hypnotherapy to make our clients into monkeys. But what we can definitely do is assist them in tapping into this vast potential that exists in their own inner beings and give them tips and tools on how to harness that power to make their life very magical. Western hypnosis and Western hypnotherapy works completely with the model of empowerment, with the model of accomplishment and with the model of the client being in control and in charge of the process and his own life.